shame, Theseus. Shame built the labyrinth. Where are you at me? This way, Theseus, this way. Shame, Ariadne. Shame, that strange half human, half beast child of Pacify, my mother. Unconcerned for her husband. Unconcerned. Revenge. Revenge. Lust. Lust. Why wear such fine clothes, foolish doesn't understand the art of love, then listen and learn. Results are guaranteed. Thank you. 
I am not Daedalus. The beast man, the man beast. That's me. Dead? How could I possibly die? Death is a relative thing. In my case, it's not black or white. But for Aegeus, it was black or white. A simple thing. Black sails mean death. Theseus is dead. I am alive. White sails mean life. Theseus is alive. And I am dead. Not so simple, is it? Aegeus, on the other hand, thought it was pretty simple. He sees black sails on his son's returning ship, thinks his son is dead, and throws himself into the sea. Death by suicide. And what is Theseus' response? He says, I forgot to change my sails. Ha! Anyone simple enough to believe that should likewise throw himself into the sea. Renamed the Aegean Sea. Power, Theseus. King Theseus now. Power, not love, not honor. If not power, why marry Phaedra, my half-sister, Ariadne's sister? You become king of Crete as well as king of Athens. But Phaedra falls in love with your beloved son, Hippolytus. Was it love? Or was it revenge? If the Almighty God themselves are subject, how can we disobey? Love has come late, but it has come deep. An invisible wound sears my heart. Inside, I burn. If Juno gave me her husband, her brother... to the far western shore where the sad daughters of the sun distill their tears in the dark flood. Deceptions, 
The thread I gave Ariadne was itself a deception that led nowhere but here. And if there are gods, are they merciful or just or even vengeful? It is a great thing to believe in gods that care. It soothes the griefs of the believer, though my secret heart hopes in an intelligent providence. Yet, when I look at the fortunes of men and their actions, the hope fails me. One thing comes, another goes, and life for man is ever-shifting. Ever-wandering.